SMT Nation, we back. We've got some testing for you all here. You know me, always testing networks, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. Now we got Dish Wireless Project Genesis Access, and I'm always looking for network excellence, and I'm finding it here in this example. All right, and the carrier I'm testing specifically on the iPhone 13 Pro as I await the arrival of my iPhone 14. Uh, what I'm seeing here is an absolutely tremendous functional site. Uh, this is actually right outside the school, uh, the after school um, uh, program that my daughter is in. So I'm picking her up after school. See the time, it's 4 p.m. What I would consider to be a pretty heavy usage time as people are starting to get off of work and such. L take a look at the speed test. Folks, this is 60 megahertz of N77. Uh, it's not often I see this. Very typically in the best conditions, I see probably about 70 or 80% of this throughput. All right, but the speed test indicates that they are really starting to tune and hone these sites to perform really well. All right, 815 megabits per second downlink, 42 megabits per second uplink, a ping time of 32, and a jitter of 8 milliseconds. In and of itself, the uplink is very average and normal. Uh, the ping times I typically see between like the low 20s and the low 30s. Jitter is about the same what I usually see, but the downlink capacity here, folks, is very fast. Uh, this is something that I see only occasionally where I see the, the top speeds, the peak speeds exceed 650 megabits per second. Uh, I, do, what they did, I, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but this site has always been one of the better sites that I've tested. So like in the in the past when the sites were first getting turned on, I'll typically see like downlinks between, um, you know, 350 and 600. Uh, this site was doing on the higher end. It was like 600, 650. Uh, now testing it, and this is right outside in the parking lot. Uh, the tower site is on the other side of the property. Uh, so maybe it's a thousand feet away or something like that. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a little more. Uh, but it's a very tall site. I, I covered this site actually uh, with an upgrade, uh, you know, highlight and stuff like that. But it is very, very fast and very well optimized. And I want to share with you guys some more photos of the testing. So that was from the parking lot inside the car. Here's from the parking lot outside of the car just as I stepped out. Uh, not much changes. Ping dropped a little, 25 millisecond jitter at 3. Uh, the uplink still around 42. Uh, but even the downlink coming up a little bit at 826 megabits per second down. Again, I'm most impressed by the downlink. And I'm not sure, uh, you know, what other carrier aggregation or LT combos are additionally here. Uh, but typically Verizon has 5 megahertz of band 2. Uh, they've got 20 megahertz of AWS. And then some kind of low band, which would be like either 10 megahertz of band 5 or 10 megahertz of band, uh, band 13. So that's probably what you're working with there, okay? Additionally, here's a test from inside the school building uh, that is composed of all hard surfaces, uh, and, and, you know, it's brick, all right? So 32 ping, 12 jitter, uh, 512 down, and 38.6 up. Uh, clearly, it works inside the school. Uh, should anybody need it? <laughs> They're little kids, so obviously they don't have devices. Uh, but there are teachers there. There are visitors there. There's presentations there, you know, administrators and stuff. So, you know, you could use it. And, of course, should uh, their local provider, which I'm assuming is probably Spectrum, uh, Spectrum Business, they would have an essential uh, a connection uh, to support them should something go down with a hotspot. They could. Uh, just to show you kind of like the flooring and stuff like that and the, and the, the brick. Here is the other sector on the other side. All right. My little one in the back chilling. All right, 689 down, 103 on the up. So I wanted to share this with you all because of the uplink showing you what I'm starting to see, folks. Not only are we seeing increased peak downlink, we're seeing a huge improvement in uplink. I actually did a video on this. Uh, there have been updates that have been going out to these Samsung radio gear elements like the antennas and radios. And there have been optimizations that have been done to become more spectrally spectral efficient, uh, getting more 
you know, peak throughput. So I'm starting to see this 100 plus megabits per second uplink. I'm starting to see it more regularly, folks. All right, so we've got downlink improvements. We've got massive uplink improvements. All right, here is a neighboring cell. This is the next cell over. We're seeing the same type of situation, folks. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far the tower was when I tested this. Um, maybe, I don't know, probably a half a mile away, so I was pretty close. But that's that's pretty good. 381 down, 71 up here, 24 ping, 3 jitter. The reason I wanted to share that site and now this site with you all is Verizon is starting to cluster sites, folks. As the sites are clustered and they're on a very tight grid here, all right, Verizon does a really nice job of putting macros every mile or mile and a half. Uh, they have the tightest grid here in my market. I understand it's not the same where you are. I understand that in some places Verizon doesn't have that network grid. But I'm sharing with you what Verizon is capable of doing. And I'm sharing with you also what your carrier of choice could also be capable of doing when they do the proper network things, like a tight network grid with a very dense process, right? They've got lots of towers and lots of places and lots of CRAN and small cells and nodes. This is what this particular carrier is doing here. Uh, AT&T is starting to densify their 5G plus uh, C-band builds, their N77. And I'm seeing improvements in uplink and downlink. And these types of things are what's going to improve networks. Everybody's all been out of shape. You know, why is edge cells such a low performer? And, you know, whenever you're far from a site, why, why does the uplink just go away? These are how you attack these things. Clearly, this carrier is doing a good job of taking it very seriously, the network excellence. And I hope that more and more carriers and the mobile network operators do this in more places they're putting they, and actually i got a follow-up video on this uh for verizon they are doing something which i never thought they were going to do they are adding sites in places only to put c-band so they're they're perfectly satisfied with where their low band gear is and all the aws and pcs but there are places that require more capacity, and if they can't put a small cell due to permitting or something like that, they're going up on rooftops and putting only C-band, right? And they're putting only CBRS because those frequencies are a little bit higher and they don't need to reach as far. They're splitting cells with capacity support. So I'll be doing follow-up videos on that too. All right, so tell me what you guys think of the performance. Let me know if you're starting to see the same things happen in your market from other carriers maybe is Verizon doing it for you is AT&T doing it for you is T-Mobile doing it for you tell me about this I'm very happy and this is particularly why I choose Verizon to be my my daily driver if you will because of performances like this uh, they are spending a lot of money here in my market and it's noticeable in the performance it's very very good uh, you really can't argue the results and AT&T has gotten much better and T-Mobile's gotten much better. They're all pretty good here. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to choose my carrier based on, you know, um, <laughs> capacity performance and not just coverage for the most part. Uh, but it, it's good networking. I just wanted to share this with you guys and be on the lookout. Hopefully it's happening for you. Open up your eyes, look for those upgrades and uh, see what's happening over there and tell me about it. Down in the comment section, you all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.